Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another One Season Wonder. This time with Growth of Birth and you can see I've got me got my shirt on ready to represent the boys um but <laughs> this is where we're at with them um they're in the second division Bundesliga 2 of Germany uh, and we can take a look at kind of as we've done previously the players we've got how we're going to work with them along with how they did in the season uh, and then play a game and see how we get on but um first off we will take a quick look at the performances in the league so um looking at as you can see on screen now, um, they did end up finishing second. So they got promoted um, to the Bundesliga. So they're, they're playing currently in that league, which is very, very good. Hopefully we can get promoted as well. Maybe even win the league. That'd be quite nice, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then we have also can see there that um, they got knocked out of the DFB Polkow against Werder Bremen in the round of 16. So hopefully we can get that far. I'm not too positive on that front. It might be a bit of a challenge. It just depends on who we get, as it can be very, very random, the poll cow, as to what teams play who. But um, hopefully in the league we can do similar. It will be tough, uh, I'm sure. Um, but let's run through some of the players that we've got and how I think we can get the most out of them. So first up, we've got Harvard Nielsen, uh, a player who's a pressing forward. He's deemed our best player according to the current ability stars um he looks okay six foot two 27 years old he's a decent player he's got good aggression and good work rate for pressing forward which is nice to see uh, and he and he's got some sort of finishing about him so that'll be fingers crossed he'll do okay for us We've also got Julian Green, who's a former Bayern Munich player. Um, never actually played for the first team for Bayern, but was in the second team. He's even made 15 caps for the USA. So he's he's got a bit of experience about him. Uh, and he's another player that I think, because he can play almost anywhere up in the final third and midfield, he'll be someone that's really important to us. He's got 19 aggression, which is a little worrying. Um... But we'll see how it goes with him uh, and how positive we can kind of make it. But hopefully it'll all work out and he'll be one of our star players. Next is David Rahm. He's actually leaving at the end of the season, joining Hoffenheim. Uh, but we have got him for this year, which is good. He's a winger. He's probably, a, he can play fullback and winger. But I think we might push him forward slightly because he's got the ability for crossing and dribbling. Uh, even, even decent finishing. So I don't think... We want to kind of waste him at fullback, uh, especially with tackling and marking not being so great either. A uh, bit further forward would probably be a bit more beneficial for him. And then the last one we're going to pinpoint is the Swede, Branimir Hrgota, uh, a poacher, advanced forward sort of player. He's got a good bit of pace about him, or acceleration anyway, and he's got great finishing. So hopefully he can really uh, be a player that we can get the most out of up top. Uh, we might look to play two up top with the pressing forward and a more an advanced forward poacher style. Um, 27 years old, three caps for Sweden, so he's got a bit of experience there as well and can speak nearly every language known in existence. So that's quite positive. Uh, but we'll jump ahead. We've got a few pre-season games, uh, and then maybe we'll just play the first round of the Pokal and see how we get on. Uh, or we might jump in at Osnabrück in the first league game. But I'll see how we go in the pre-season and see if I'm feeling confident of getting through the first round. Um, who? So let's just take a quick look at Ulm, actually. Uh, where are they? are a semi-pro team, so I think we might just jump into Olmsbrook. Hopefully we should get past Ulm reasonably okay, but we'll see. Um, I'll see you in just a sec. So we're back. This is ha where we're at. We're in the first game of the season we've got to take on Osnabrück but before we do that we will take a quick look so friendlies unbeaten which was quite nice uh, and we managed to beat Ulm 4-2 in the first round of DFB Pokal uh, and that we had a missed penalty in that as well so it was reasonably uh, safe reasonably comfortable in the end um, but we have got like I say Osnabrück today um, I will show you first the transfers we've made. So there are a couple ins that we should talk about. Um, obviously, a lot of these have already been done. Um, but the two that 
have been us is first off Mohamed Kamara, uh, the Mali centre midfielder from RB Salzburg. He's on loan, so we're going to make the most of him whilst he's here. Uh, a deep lying playmaker is probably where he's going to play most, but he can play box to box as well, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and then we've also brought in Christoph Lightgeb as well. Uh, let me just make sure we've got a face for him there. Um, yeah, so like give uh, another box to box midfielder. He's getting on a bit, but I think that experience will definitely help us when we're going throughout this season. And hopefully that will kind of give us that bit of variety across the midfield. Uh, can play a bit further forward and a little bit further back as well. So it's not too shabby, really. Um, he's come from obviously a free agent, so forty one caps for Austria as well. Um, but let's take a look at this t lineup we're playing. So we're playing a four four two. I'm I'm still not sure on it. Um, we conceded a few against semi-pro teams, so I'm, I'm a bit worried. I have got a 4-3-3 alternate that we could go to if needs be, but we'll start with the 4-4-2 with Nielsen and Hogota up front. They got two goals in the last game each, so I could have had a hat-trick for, I think it was Hogota who missed the penalty, so... That's where we're at. Uh, Marius Funk in goal at the moment because Burchett's still a little jaded. So he Funk's in goal. Uh, Mayer Hoffer, Bauer, Mavraj and Itter at the back. Julian Green on the right-hand side. David Ram on the left. Seguin in the middle with Kamara, uh, who's actually going to be playing box-to-box -to -box today. Uh, and then Hogoso and Nielsen up top. And we've got a full bench as well. Um, with, as you can see, Light Gib there as well. Well, let's bring Kavar on for Lowelling because, you know, he's a little jaded. No point putting him out there um so let's get stuck in uh fingers crossed we can start the season well get a win that'd be very very nice we are home so we've got that little bit of an advantage um but let's jump into the game and take a look i have to say i like their kit purple is obviously the the color of the channel uh and it's and i i like purple it's a good kit a bit of grip funky as well back post though from the corner it is headed away uh and it looks like they might latch on to the clearance uh, are they going to be able to make something happen from here? I'm not sure where they should finish. I mean, we've done well to win that back. Into Hagota. Uh, lays it back to Kamara. Is he going to be able to make something happen? Seguin. Now, this is midfield partner. Kamara's making a run. Uh, he does get it back, but he's having to play it back once again. We are working it around the edge of the box. We're going to make something happen. I'm sure of it at some point. Um, Kamara again. Seguin. Uh, Kamara's making those little runs. Hagota. Can he play it around the corner? Y kind of. Then it's Mayenhofer. Here we go. Cross into Sagan. Nope, it's not going to shoot. Then he shoots the second time round, and it's well over the bar in the end. Decent effort. Uh, we worked the ball quite nicely, kept it well. But um, it would have been nice if we'd have actually had something on target to come at the end of that. But we've got a free kick. 30 minutes in now. Ball comes in. Bauer with the header. Maximilian Bauer with the header from the free kick. A lovely little header down into the bottom left-hand corner. Um, good ball in. 1-0. Happy days. And now I throw in uh, on this left-hand side, Itter, the full-back, who's currently on loan to us. Sigwin. Then Itter again. He's found a bit of space. Is he going to be able to get that ball in? No, but he plays it to Sigwin, who does. Nielsen up for the header, and it's just wider than near post. I think the keeper had it covered anyway. But um, it's good to see that we are on top. We're dominating at the moment. Uh, long may it continue with the squad we've got. We might look to play the 4-3-3 maybe away from home and the 4-4-2 at home. Mix up a bit. Try and keep them guessing a little bit uh, and and see how things go and depending on who we play in as well. Um, I don't really want to change anything at the moment. They're not playing amazing, but we're building into the season. We're 1-0 up, so there's no need to panic or anything like that. So we'll leave things as they are for now uh, and kind of just go with what we've got. With 15 minutes to go, the we're, we're looking good. Uh, sixth in the table at the moment. Obviously, it's first game of the season, so a few teams have got the three points mark, and it's all about goal difference. But 1-0 uh, isn't bad at all. I've, I've kind of kept it and not making any subs. There's a couple minutes to go. I, I mean, I'd hope they don't score now, because that would be annoying, um, considering I haven't made any changes. Uh, it comes back to Agdini, who does get a cross in, and it's free. Is he offside? He looks at offside. The flag's gone up, and it was offside. Maybe we don't have VAR in the second division. I know they do in the Bundesliga, but 1-0. 1-0 at the end of the day. 0.99 XG, which isn't bad either. Uh, kind of links up with the 1-0 win, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. So a 1-0 free kick headed goal for the win. 
it'd be interesting to see how the season goes forward from here because uh, we've got a few few more games to get through. Um, we have got Botram in the second round of the cup. They want us to reach the second round, so I mean, that's not bad, really. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and we're currently sitting fifth, but like I say, it's not doesn't mean much considering it's only one first game of the season. Uh, but yeah, there's only the two competitions that we're in. The DFB Palkau and Bundesliga 2. Uh, so we should be able to do okay because we can focus on the on the league a lot. Uh, especially considering the Pokal like very quick really in regards to how many games you play in it. But um, we've got a big game against Hamburger is coming up. Bochum in the league as well. But we'll, we'll come a bit later on. We'll see you in the next episode tomorrow. So I'll catch you then. Hope you did enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.